Tonight we've been learning how carbon dioxide in the atmosphere warms our planet and leads to more extreme weather. Lonnie is in the Weather Center with CBS2 meteorologist and producer Giorgio Panetta to explain the challenges that this creates. Hey, thanks very much, guys. You know, this is such an important thing for us to be talking about, and, and Giorgio and I talk about it in here all the time. Awesome. There's no question, all right, in our opinion, okay, that the globe is warming, and we've seen some real catastrophic effects of that. But, you know, you, you look at, Giorgio, what's the number one storm that comes to your head that sort of exemplifies what we're talking about? Sandy, 2012, right. kind of changed the game for forecasting, and sort of, that was the first big storm that had an off-the-charts kind of yep. forcing against physics latent heat release. That's all these big storms are. And that was yeah. the first one that kind of clued us into things are a little bit different. Mm -hmm. I mean, even sooner, even, excuse me, closer to now, other storms. Oh, a, a bunch of them. But, you know, you threw a term out there that I, I think people got to latch on to, which is that's all a hurricane is, all right? A hurricane, uh, a superstorm, whatever you want to call it. It's just a heat release. Latent heat release, It's yes. just a heat release. So the hotter your atmosphere is, the quicker that air can rise, the stronger the storms can get, and, and you've got bigger problems on your hand. And it's not just tropical systems. It's no. not just, you know, hurricane this, hurricane that. I mean, take a look at some average run On the, the average mill. forecast, I mean, even, okay, so Ida. Yeah, that's a great one. It was a little piece of energy. Yeah. Remember tracking it? It was, it was a Cat 4 storm, big storm, a lot of, lot of trouble. Faded but a bunch. Faded a bunch, and the little piece of extra tropical energy that came our way, catastrophic yeah. severe weather, flooding, tornadoes in New Jersey, flooding yeah. basements. Fatalities. It was yeah. extreme, and no, no one saw it. No one, no model had yeah, that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Area, not no, no. And, and what you've got to remember is, a warmer atmosphere can hold more moisture. It can exactly. just deliver more rain. And we've had we've had flooding that's just been off the charts. Question then becomes: Do you still see those cold, sharp drops in temperatures? And of course you, you do. do. You do. The question do. is: Typically, you see a big sign curve where the winter gives you a big bunch of you know cold air the summer gives you a big bunch of warm mm -hmm. air well we're seeing now that the summer's giving us that big warm air right and then it's making a big drop but a quick up again so you'll get cold air in the winter time but it just doesn't last for those real long stretches which now brings us to what do you and i see for this winter? For this winter i mean let's think where we've been i remember earlier this year we talked about we had this big cold snap mm -hmm. and it, it drew up uh things of about 2014 2015. Mm -hmm. right now we're pretty much in a snow drought i'd have to oh. adjust our winter outlook to say we're probably gonna have less snow than average overall it's already uh, Mid-January, and look, it doesn't mean that one storm can't give us 30 That's inches. the thing. That's and that that's big drop I'm talking about where you can see that sharp drop, and you can pick up a lot of moisture, and all of a sudden, hey, we got a 20-inch storm out there. But it's just not the prolonged no, effect. It's different. And overall, for this winter, it's performing typically how a La Nina performs. You're going to get a lot of moisture out there, but your temperatures look to be borderline, so it's not going to all be snow, and you get some rain mixed in. And thus far, measurable snow so far? zero in New York City. We should have about seven inches, right? About seven inches as yeah. of today. All right, guys, that is uh, the way that we see things here in the Weather Center. Again, yeah. this is a conversation that goes on with you and we're me. We're going to continue talking once the time. I'm so off. excited <laughs> that we've got this segment that we're doing because it needs to be a conversation outside of this office and We absolutely well. appreciate the opportunity to talk about these things that are going to have an effect moving forward for sure.